Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about um, how to multiply radicals and yung ating third case, I guess. Um, this would be about um, different radicands and indices. So, ito na yung medyo mahi, um, yun naman mahira. Pero yung part na magkaiba na lahat, totally magkaiba. And what do I mean by that? Say we, oh sorry, wrong color. Say we have um, square root of 2, hindi ko yung lalagay square root, and times cube root of 3. Ayan. You will notice that the radicands or the bases are di different and at the same time, this is square root and cube root. Therefore, the indices are different as well. So, there are multiple of ways of doing this one. Um, one way is actually just um, they call this uh, expressing the given in its um, fractional form, rational exponents, I mean. So, this is 2 raised to 1 half times 3 raised to 1 third. So, after you do that, you find, you express the fraction uh, in, similar ter uh, in similar denominator. So, you make 1 half and 1 third a similar fraction. And doing that, it will give me 1 over 6. Uh, I mean, not 1 over 6. It's 3 over 6. And we will have, sorry for the 3, it's um, 2, 6. Yan. And then you will remove the exponent. Uh, I mean, yeah, the exponent part. So you will have 2 cubed raised to 1, 6. And then we have 3 squared. And you will just remove the radican. So it would be like this. Okay. And the, for me, this one is a little bit complicated. And what do I do to answer this given? Okay, um, what I do is this one. Let me just undo everything. Okay, and I would guess it would give us the same answer. Okay, no, I, I know that it would give us the same answer because I did try this one. Okay, so what do we need to do here is of course we write the new radical. Okay, and then what do we do is we multiply the indices together and that would be our new index. 2 times 3 is of course 6. So we will now have the 6th root. And then what about the exponent? The exponent would be like this. You will take the radicand on the first term or the first given and then you will multiply it by the um, index. I, I mean, you will give it an exponent that is the same as the index of the other given. So, for example, we have this. Yan. Okay? We have this one. So, you will, you will get the index of this one. Or, to be, uh, just to be sure, is you will just simply get this 6. And you will divide it by the index, which is 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3, which is also the same as this one. So, you will give it cube times 3. You will take 3, right? And then you will take 6, the new index, divide it by the old index, which is 3. And then, that would be 6 divided by 2 is, uh, 3 is 2. So, there will, therefore, you will have 3 squared. Yeah. And this would give us, ultimately, an answer of... Um, 2 cube and 3 squared 2 cube times um, 3 squared the answer is um, 72 and yeah the sixth root of 72 there you go and that would be it that would be our um, multiplying radicals with different radicands and indices quite easy okay Let's have another example. Say I have, um, let's, let's get it the other way around. You have the square root of 3 times the um, cube root of, um, say let's have 5. Yeah. Let's have 5. Okay. And then what do we do? We multiply the indices to get the new index. 2 times 3, because this is square root, we will have 6. The 6th root na tayo. And then copy the bases. Yeah. 3 and 5. And what do we do with the new exponent of the bases? Okay? We take the new index, divide it by the old for the 3, which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so therefore you will have 3 cubed. Next, this one, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so therefore you will have 5 squared. And multiplying this one, it will give us with the 6 root of 3 cubed. The answer is, of course, um, 27 times 25 which is 5 squared the answer is 675 okay so we will not deal much more with the simplifying um, part because uh, it will take our video longer okay so let's now go to the our our next example what if we have three okay it would be the same 
Let's say we have x squared. Uh, no, 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 no. So yeah, let's have uh, uh, the square root of x times the cube root of y squared times the fourth root of y. I'm um, sorry, j cubed. So what do we do here? Again, we just simply get our new index, and our new index would be four times three. The answer is 12, and then times 2 is 24. But then again, in this case, the marami na, we will try to find the um, LCM. The LCM of 2, 3, and 4. The LCM of 2, 3, and 4, the answer is 12. Right? So that would be the 12th truth. And what do we do next? We just simply copy. Okay, we copy our um, variables or the our radicands, and we give them their new exponent. In this case, kung may exponent na siya, then it's okay. Bring it with it. Okay? Bring the entire index. Okay? So, what do we do? 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, this would be 6. Next, 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4. So, magkakaroon siya ng extra na 4. But then again, if you have multiple exponents, you will just simply multiply them. So, may extra ka ditong 4. I am, maybe I'll just erase a little bit para magkasya sila. Okay, so you will have an extra 4 there. So this is squared and then you will have an extra 4. Okay, and then we have the z as cube, right? We have z cube. Okay, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3, so therefore you will have an extra exponent of 3. And then just simply simplify them. What would you get? So that would be the 12th root of x raised to 6, wala naman, so x raised to 6. 4 times 2 is y raised to 8 and z would be raised to 9 kasi 3 times 3 and that would be it it's that easy to multiply radican, um, radicals with different indices and different bases or radica, radicands okay so let's have another example our last example Mad madali lang siya actually okay let's have multiple again we have the square root of 2 times the cube root of um times the fifth root of y raised to 5. So, anong gagawin natin again? We look for our new bago, ah, bagong index, which is we will have 2, 3, and 5. What do you think is the um, LCM of our 2, 3, and 5? So, 2 times uh, 5 is 10. Yeah, 10 is not. 15 is not as well. Maybe it's... um. Yeah, I think it would be 30. The 30, yeah. 30 divided by 5, yes. 30 divided by 3, yes. And 30 divided by 2, yes. So, we'll have 15, 10, and 6. Um, I don't think there's any other um, LCM for this. So, we will use 30. Yeah. The 30th root of what? 2 times 4 times y raised to 5. Again, we divide. 30 divided by 2 is 15, so we have 2 raised to 15. 30 divided by 3 is 10, so we have 4 raised to 10. Y raised to f um, this one. 30 divided by 5, the answer is oh my god, I don't, 6. So we'll have an extra 6 here. So it will give us the 30th root of 2 raised to 15 times 4 raised to 10. And what double exponent, remember, power of a power, 5 times 6 is y raised to 30. And finally, let's try to evaluate this one even though it's quite big. Let's use our calculator to, to do this one. Times 4 raised to 10. Okay, actually it's too big. But uh, yeah, using your calculator, it will give us the 30th root of 3.44 times 10 raised to 10 y raised to 30. And this is scientific notation. Uh, but it's okay. If you cannot, then leave it as is, like this one. The 30th root of 2 raised to 15 times 4 raised to 10 y raised to 30. And that would be it. Again, what would be our steps? Get the LCM, divide the new index to the old index to get the new exponent of the radicands. And that would be it. Try to simplify if you could. And that would be all everyone. If you have any other questions, view the video again or ask in our class. Thank you and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.